back to Group B now with Edward Kratchmar, the current points leader. He's got to go, though, off the very outside start position here. On the inside, gate number one, it's Fritz Wallner yet to score after a uh, failure to finish first time out. Gate two in blue for Christian Heffenbrock. A strong showing from the German in round one, he picked up four points. Gate three in white for Karol Zabik, had to work hard to get third position in round one. Can he do better off gate number three here? Gate four in yellow for Matic Voldre, only a single point score. He made a decent start but went backwards as his first ride went on. The outside gates with Nicholas Vicentin, who has two points to his name, and Edward Kratchmar, a uh, round one race winner. So I uh, built up the approach of Karol Zabik to round number one of the heat races, and he didn't really star. This time he's got gate number three. Remember that the riders who started with outside start positions work their way towards inside gates, and riders who started with inside gates will have to suffer from the difficulty of an outside start position in their later rides. As we get underway with heat six and a flying start off gate two from Christian Heffenbrock. Heffenbrock leads the way. If he can stay out in front, he'll book his place through to the next stage. Edward Kratchmar's making progress. He's come through from the outside gate and through into third position. And now he's around the outside of Karol Zabik on the top turn. Kratchmar getting his wheels in line to come flying past at the end of the opening lap. Brilliant from the home representative who gets the crowd up on their feet by moving through into second. Down in fourth place, it's Matic Voldre. He's under pressure from Fritz Wallner. And down in last position, Nicholas Vicentin. That's a bit of a surprise. He's running deep there on turn four. It's Karol Zabik who looks over his shoulder coming out of the fourth turn to see that he's still under pressure from Matic Voldre. But the real race is out in front because there's less than a bike length now between Christian Heffenbrock, the race leader, and the local favourite, Edward Kratchmar, who again looks to the outside. This time it's covered off by Heffenbrock, who's still got to work hard in the latter stages. He looks the wrong way. Back down into turn number one. Goes conservative on Ben One, thinking Kratchmar's coming for the inside. No, he's not. He's going for the cutback instead. And again, Heffenbrock this time has to run narrow into turn number three, giving Kratchmar the inside coming off turn four. And Edward Kratchmar comes through over the line. Brilliant riding from Edward Kratchmar. And I think that Christian Heffenbrock just made the mistake of being too defensive in the latter stages there. He was too worried about covering off the racing line coming into the bends. And that allowed Edward Kratchmar to build up his attack wide in the dirt around the mid-track line. And then to square the bends off and come through in the race to the finish. Brilliant riding from Edward Kratchmar. Two wins out of two. He books his place through to the next round of the competition. To the delight of the home crowd. And that was some really brilliant overtaking manoeuvres from Edward Kranchmar because remember he had to come from the very outside start position. He's your first winner from gate number six here today. But he didn't do it from the start, did he? He had to work around the outside line in the early stages just to move through into third. Then he picked his way through into second position, got the better of Karol Zabik. The pole getting a little bit scrappy later on in the race. But the race for the lead was the real brilliant move. Look again coming off turn four. Through up the inside comes Sir Edward Kratchmar to take the chequered flag and the delight for the Czech Republic representative. Heffenbrock realises he's gone too deep on turn number four. But that mistake came much earlier coming into the last lap. As Heffenbrock looked over his shoulder, he looked left. He tried to cover the inside into bend one. Kratchmar had the perfect run around the outside, built up his attack, got his wheels in line, ready for the final turns. Heffenbrock again ran narrow into turn three. This time he was forced to because Kratchmar was almost alongside him. And that left him running wide with his momentum, carrying him past the apex on turn four and left Kratchmar coming through for the race victory in that one, heat number six.